Hey friends, it's Vicki Marie. Today I have my weekly grocery shopping. This is my main shopping for the week and I don't need a lot of things this week. So I'm gonna be talking to you about my meal plan for the week, why I'm buying what I'm why I'm buying it. And I'm here at King Supers rather than the normally Walmart uh, because um, I needed to get some gift cards for John. Uh, well, for us, we have a retirement party coming up for a friend and then I needed a gift card for someone at his work. And so we are purchasing a couple of those. I bought two gift cards, $25 each, and I will not show those in my haul at the end. Um, I just want you to know I did buy those today, and I'll also be buying some uh, greeting cards. You'll, you uh, won't see those in my haul, um, but you will see everything else I bought today in the haul at the end. Now, I have a question. This was $19.99 on sale for $13.99. Did I take this home? Think about it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Uh, we might as well make this fun, right? Uh, this was super cute, the little chicken. And I did make it over here to the greeting cards and they had a nice, nice selection of greeting cards. So I was able to find a couple of those and I was just getting a thank you card for someone for John at, at his work. And then um, I also got a, uh, they did have retirement cards. So I was happy to see that. They have a great selection on their candles. This Tuscany brand, I have bought this before, $5.99 for these. And I've been looking at a lot of candles lately. I don't know, I guess candles are my thing. This just cracked me up. Two of my creamers, they have finally, I was able and I bought both. Is that selfish? Nah, I don't think so. Uh, I bought both and then I ended up uh, buying John's creamer and they did have just one of those left too, so I made out. What's for dinner? That's the question. So I'm buying some um, hot Italian sausage and I'm gonna actually make that with spaghetti sauce and I'm gonna serve that over pasta for John and whole wheat toast for me. It's actually really good, like an open-faced sandwich. That's what I made for dinner. And then um, for my meal planning, everything is so expensive. So I did look at um, a lot of things here. And then at the very uh, the uh, end of the aisle, right over here, they have markdown items right here on the end. Uh, we, we often find really good deals here. Uh, we buy our steaks here if we don't get them at Sam's Club. I think Sam's Club still has some of the best uh, steaks. I do this at this store all the time at King Supers. I need to find their clearance rack at Walmart though. Um, and I plan my meal around those pork chops, uh, my meal planning. That's how I did my meal planning this week. I just went to see what meat was on sale over at the end aisle. And we are, we do have two events to go to this week. And I'll make pasta that will last for at least two to three meals for us. And then we do have two meals that we will be eating out because we have a birthday party to go to and a retirement party uh, to go to. And then with the pork chops, um, that's pretty much our meals for the next uh, four to five days, maybe seven. Some nights we'll just do a Cobb salad. Now these salads I'm buying for John's lunch. I picked up three of them. They were three for $11. Guys are still cheaper at Walmart, just letting you know. I'm gonna to talk to you about that in my meal, uh, my haul today. I always buy these fudge sickles. And we are going to a birthday party and I wanted to make sure I picked up some of these, um, just some, some chips. I'm gonna also pick up a cake. Uh, but that's gonna be on another day. That's my simple little meal plan. I, I shop at home first. I have a sub pantry full of stuff and I'm just, and I've got tons of like, you know, canned veggies and frozen veggies. I'm using it up. So I'm back from uh, King Supers. I'm gonna show you guys my haul real quick and let's give you the prices. So I picked up two boxes of these fudge sickles or the no sugar added original fudge pops. There's 18 in each one. And I always get these. I paid uh, $4.99 for each box, and I know that I pay Walmart. Uh, at Walmart, I'm, it's definitely cheaper there. So I probably spent over 50 cents more than I had to there. Those Gala apples, there's three pounds of the Kroger brand Gala apples. 
Those were $4.49, and I'm sure they're cheaper at Walmart. Okay, the tuna was $4.49, and that is for uh, four, I think those are five ounce cans. It is the chunk light. And, um, but I did save 30 cents, so minus 30 cents from that because I, I used my rewards card, my King Supers card. So I did save some money on that one. All right, these cans were $4.49 each, and that is the two uh, or 12.5 uh, ounce uh, chicken. And I just want this in my sub pantry. It is the Swanson's, and it's the premium chunk chicken breast. And I'm pretty sure that Walmart had a better price on that too. Um, now I paid, oh, let's look over here, $4.49. I paid $4.49 for this one pound of Johnson's Italian sausage. And um, this, I am going to cook that up in uh, some Classico uh, spaghetti sauce and make a, a sauce. I'll be serving that over pasta for John. And for me, I'm going to serve it over a piece of whole wheat toast. And that will be my dinner. Um, and I've been talking about that a lot. I am working with a nutritional coach right now to help me with my meal plan. And uh, I'm not saying that's approved by her because uh, I will be getting her her food plan on Friday. <laughs> so I don't know, my, my hauls may change up a little bit, but we'll see. But that's one way that I try to stay with the, uh, the whole grain or the, um, you know, the little bit better macros and more whole grains on in my diet uh, and not go too much into the, the pasta and the processed stuff. So although obviously guys, I'm not perfect. I paid $3.62 for this package of the uh, pork loin, um, just pork chops. And these are the, uh, there's no bone and uh, they're pork loin boneless chops, and you can see the price normally would be seven thirty one, but I always go to the end in the store. They have this little end part uh, with the meat, uh, where they have all their their sale products, and I found this. So that's part of how I'm creating my meal plan now. And this won't be too bad if I serve this with some rice and broccoli. Uh, that'll be pretty healthy, and I think that'll go with uh, pretty well with my food plan. Not perfect. Uh, again, my I may be adjusting a little bit in the coming weeks, but we'll see what happens. So these were on sale three for eleven dollars, and they are the one serving of the salad kits. It's I got two BLTs and a Caesar uh, chicken Caesar. These are Kroger brand, and and John actually likes these in his lunch. So a lot of times I send him leftovers, but I always keep these on hand for him. He likes them, um, and he actually requested more. So uh, the thing is, you can actually get these over at Walmart cheaper than that. Even on sale at King Supers, Walmart did beat the price. So just FYI. And they did have my coffee creamer. They haven't had it at Walmart. Thankfully, they had it here, uh, the sugar-free. Um, John always gets the non-sugar-free, and they've had that at Walmart. Um, they had uh, only two bottles left. I bought both of them. And um, this, I actually paid $3.99 a bottle for that. And I know over at Walmart right now, they are $3.68 for the same thing. But they didn't have them at Walmart, so that's the way that goes. And on this size, this is the bigger size because this is all they had in in his non non uh, or his sugar one, his uh, regular original. Uh, and so for this one, I paid five dollars and ninety nine cents for that. That is a sixty four ounce. At Walmart, it was five dollars and ninety eight cents. I did pick up some of the Lay's Wavy Original Party Size Chips. I don't know why they call that Party Chips Party Size. Let me know. Do you think that that is a party size? It's not. <laughs> not at our house. Um, that is for a 13 ounce bag. And um, yeah, so um, I paid $4.49 for that. Over at Walmart right now, it was $4.48. And I am checking the prices on my Walmart app as of today, which I'm filming this on a Wednesday, um, and it's what, like the, this is April 27th, so, um, yep. Now this is what I'm really excited about. King Supers does have some really cool items sometimes, just unexpected. 
uh, I don't think the price was on here. The original price of this was that they had marked was uh, $19.99. I actually paid um, $13.99 for this. It is a wooden, it feels like a wooden base. This is heavy though. It's very heavy, way better quality than what you would maybe find at some stores. Surprisingly, it's very heavy. This is made out of a I don't know if it's a resin kind of plastic probably it almost feels like metal I know these are metal this feels more like a resin than a wood but it might be might be wood treated wood and some kind of wood but uh, this this feels like a resin plastic to me it doesn't feel like wood but it is really really heavy and I have been I've had my eye on something very similar for a long time and I don't know if I'm going to put, I'm thinking I'm going to put it on my fireplace mantle is where I want it. And um, I, I was, when I saw it for that price, I had to grab it. I'm, I'm really not spending a ton on new home decor and things like that. You guys know I want to get a new couch. Right now I've just pulled up a, the couch from our other room and I have that in this room. Uh, but right now I would like to get a new couch. But, you know, with prices going up right now, and I've kind of put a hold on that. It's on my wish list, though. But right now, I'm just using my little love seat there. Uh, eventually, I still want to get the piano moved. But, you know, things unexpected happen all the time. And with the prices and everything, um, that's just how that is right now. Uh, but it is a darker wood. I like to uh, use a lot of light, lighter pieces in my accent right now, too, just to lighten up the the decor so anyway that was a good buy I was happy to get that and that's my haul y'all I've been comparing the prices with the Walmart app right here so I hope you enjoyed that little feature take good care subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you on the next one